Solar Shifter! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Solar Shifter. A really, really cool, pretty hardcore shoot 'em up um, developed by Elder Games and published by the good old boys over at Head Up. So we're gonna jump into this thing right now, show you what it do. It is freaking pretty! Oh my god, is it pretty! Um, the controls are actually decent for either the mouse and keyboard or a, a gamepad. I prefer a gamepad just because you're allowed to shift with your right stick and it's a bit more complicated on the keyboard, like it'll shift in the direction that you're moving so you actually need to stop and yeah, it's a little more awkward in that way. So I've given the controls a 7 out of 10. Not extremely fantastic, but still um, a bit above average. Pretty usable, especially if you're this using a controller. But um, you know, mouse and keypad, is, keyboard is an option, so um, that should be prioritized, I think. The, anyways, the the fun factor score is a 10 out of 10, definitely. I like blowing stuff up. It's uh, also a pretty forgiving game. Um, you can take uh, two or three rockets before your ship actually blows up, whereas in most shoot 'em ups, they they just explode you immediately. But uh, I still gave the difficulty a 10 out of 10 because on a, a game scale, shoot 'em ups are just very, very hard. <laughs> so very, very fun, but also extremely hard. If you played shoot 'em ups, it's uh, probably not as hardcore, but it's it's good is what I'm saying. If you're looking to get into shoot 'em ups this is probably a good place to start. The innovation, I'm sorry, the replayability, I've given a 3 out of 10. Um, I don't see much reason to replay the game. I did give it some points just because the backgrounds are really awesome. The, the different enemy ships are really awesome for each biome that you go to. They have different ships and everything. It's super, super awesome. And, uh, yeah, so it wins back a few replayability points because I might want to go see those awesome ships in all the different biomes once more. Um, I've given the innovation a 2 out of 10. Not ex fuck. <laughs> Not extremely great, but it does what it needs to do. It relies on a formula that's worked relatively well in the past, and it ends up working relatively well here. So, props to you, Elder Games. Tried the true formula, but it has definitely paid off because I'm having a great time with Solar Shifter. Uh, the graphics I've given a 10 out of 10. It's freaking beautiful. It can run on almost any computer. I have like a crappy netbook that I tried it on. It has an onboard graphics card and everything and I was able to run the game relatively well. So pretty impressed by that. The load times are a bit much. Um, but you know, a couple seconds here and there, not too bad. Although, I would like to be put directly back into the action. Anyways, music I've given an 8 out of 10. Really, really cool music. Um, probably something I might even put on my iPod if I'm in a weird sort of mood. It's got a really, really nice kind of down low, weird techno feel, which for an alien planet, it's like, duh, fits right in there. Um, the sound effects I've given a 7 out of 10. Listen. Boo boo! It's really deep, the explosions. Um, none of the sounds get too repetitive, even though you're firing your gun the whole time. The mix is pretty good. Uh, the gun's relatively low in the mix, so the music overpowers it relatively easily. Um, damn. Okay. Anyways, the story I've given a 5 out of 10. It's completely average. Yes. Okay, they decided that was good enough to get to the boss. <laughs> Alright. Um, so yeah, the story is completely average. I would like to see them go a bit more into the political affiliation of the two warring factions in the story. But um, at the moment, it's just kind of bare bones. They're like, well, we're attacking us. You got to stop them. I want to know why. Doesn't really matter in the end because I'm just having fun blowing stuff up. So uh, yeah. Yeah good on me, I think. <laughs> Level design, I've given an 8 out of 10. It's extremely, extremely good. Um, they'll put a giant enemy in front of you, and then a swarm a bunch of enemies around it, 
And just in time, in the time that you blow up the giant enemy, like the little ones will come and just wreck your face. So you gotta reprioritize, and it's really well designed in that way, so I appreciate that extra effort a whole lot. So the total for Solar Shifter is a 70 out of 100, which is a 3.5, or yeah, 3.5 out of 5 stars. Almost 4 stars, creeping up there. Pretty damn good for less than 10 bucks. If you're looking for uh, a game to spend some time with, looking to learn the shoot 'em up genre, this is a good one. I would suggest going out and picking it up. Maybe wait for it to be on sale if you're not uh, so sure about the genre, but it's definitely a solid shoot 'em up, and I'd suggest checking it out. So, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I do hope you'll join us for the next time, and if you did enjoy, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.